Hey Timothy, this is Nate. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook. Just wanted to put this quick site review together. First off, I want to tell you that for building this site out yourself, it looks great. You did a really good job. I would recommend putting a little more information, some type of footer down here. But other than that, the site looks really well. The things that I want to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll get into what all of that is. Um, when it comes to Google, content is king. They like to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on this home page and about 500 to 750 on your back service pages. And the reason for that is they want to see those search phrases that people are looking for on Google organically in the content on your website. That way they know your site is relevant to what those people are looking for. So there are ways to hide keywords and stuff behind the pictures and things like that. But the easiest, fastest way for Google to find them is for them to be organically in your content, which is why we recommend the 1,500 to 2,000 words on the homepage so we can fit those keywords in there organically so Google can find them. You know, I went and pulled up a couple of the competitors and I went ahead and used competition from Nashville just because that seems to be where the, the larger market is. But, you know, these guys, again, not a bad looking site but there's still not a ton of content on here. They're super easy to beat out. You know, Google doesn't really see the pictures and things like that. Like I said, there are ways to hide some keywords in behind them, but it's better to just have them organically on the page. You know, here's another one. Again, nice looking site, but there's just not a ton of content here. You know, I don't think any one of these guys have a thousand words on their page. So they'd be super easy to beat out. The reason the content is important is for your keywords. And this is Arabs. This is a tool that we pay for to kind of break these sites down. Currently, you're not showing up for any organic keywords. So if we go over here and look, you know, these guys have 2,000 keywords. These guys have 1,900. So these guys are killing it as far as the keywords go. Um, we can go in here and see what their keywords are, find the ones that we like, and try to get those onto your page. You know, pressure washing Nashville TN. There's a hundred searches a month for that keyword phrase. These guys are in the number one spot. They're getting 46 visits a month to their website from that one keyword phrase that's on their site. They also have pressure washing Nashville. 150 people are searching for that. They're in the number one spot. They're getting 38 visits a month to their site. And these are the type of keywords that I like. I call them generic keywords. It says what you do and where you do it. Like roof cleaning, it gets searched 6,600 times, but that's nationwide. It doesn't say Nashville here, so we have no idea where these people are. Most of them are probably not in Nashville and not relevant to this business. You know, they're not going to go to California and clean somebody's roof just because somebody found them online. You know, so I always try to put the city or the city and state in there. You know, right here, gutter cleaning Nashville gets searched 150 times a month. They're in the fifth position and they're getting 12 visits a month. And that kind of helps you see why that number one spot is so important. You know, I say number one, two, and three are where you need to be. But if, you know, if you go in here and look, where was that? Here we go. 150 searches. They're getting 12 and they're in the fifth position. Up here, 150 searches. They're getting 38 because they're in the number one position. So it shows how drastically that number drops as they move down the page. The other thing that I like to talk about are the citations. Normally when you pull up a search on Google, you're right here I search pressure washing Nashville TN, you're going to get some ads up here at the top. Those people are paying to be there, but a lot of people are going to scroll right past those ads and they're going to look down here in what we call the map pack. This one right here, as you can see, is also an ad. He's paying to be the number one spot right here in this map pack. And these guys are all organically in there. They're not paying to be there, but they still show up. So what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet, such as Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of directories out there that you can be in. Um, we use a tool called WhiteSpark to look up those directories or to see you know, how many citations you have. Currently, you have 12 citations. This one's got 35, this one's got 28. One of the things that we do 
when we start helping somebody with their marketing is we go in and add about 100 to 200 citations just to blow these guys out of the water and make sure they don't catch up. There are other factors with your Google My Business page in getting ranked into that map pack, but the citations is one of the biggest factors. So we just load it up and blow these guys out of the water. The third thing would be the backlinks. You're not currently showing for any backlinks, but a backlink is any website that has a link on it that goes back to your website. So if I go to any other website out there and there's a button I can click on or something that I can click on that takes me back to your page, that is a backlink. It's kind of a popularity contest with Google. The more backlinks you have, the more popular they think they are that you are and the more authority that they're going to give you. You know, if we go over here and look, these guys have about 1,200 backlinks. These guys have 416. So we'll go here and look at these. With the tools that we have, we can go in and see exactly where these guys are getting their backlinks from and go in and, you know, we check out the authority of the page, make sure it is the type of backlink that we want. We do try to keep them relevant to the industry you're in and not get a bunch of spammy backlinks on there because that'll actually pull your site down as far as the rankings go. But we can go in here and look at the authority of these pages, whether or not they're passing authority back to the guy that has the backlink on there and go in and find the ones that we want. I call it the copycat method. Go in and find the guy that's got the most, copy the ones you want, and then go out and get some more for, you know, more for you just to outrank them. You know, like right here, this is a blog comment. Um, you can go out and find blogs about pressure washing or maybe even blogs about Nashville in general. Um, read up on some articles, put some, put a comment in there, you know, put a good comment, you know, try to make it relevant and put a link back to your site. Some of those will give you backlinks. Some of your citations give you backlinks. There's lots of ways to do it. They all just take a lot of time, but that is kind of my quick overview for you. Just as a recap, you want to have about 1500 to 2000 words on that homepage and then about 500 to 750 words on those back pages so you can organically fit those search terms in there. And with the guys that we're comparing to, we could go in and see what type of keywords we wanna have, you know, which one's got the most search volume, things like that, so we can get those onto your site. Um, citations, go out there and get in as many of those directories as you can get into. It takes a lot of time to do it, but you can do it yourself. It's a matter of going out, searching for the directories, signing up for them. Generally, you're gonna get an email, click on the email for verification and go back in and enter all your information. Um, cite or that's the citations. Then with your backlinks, some of your citations will give you a backlink. There's blog commenting. There's lots of different ways to do it. They all just take time. If you need any help, have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, have a great day and thank you for your time.